I'm gonna find. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. One. Hey fam, like Ellie, we've crawled this far into 2020. Ellie. But will the next six months treat us like Joel? We don't think so. Why? Because there's a ton of great titles and remakes coming up, and they've got us feeling pretty optimistic. I am Samurai. We're gonna run through some of the new releases we're really looking forward to playing. So sit back, relax, and get ready for some action. What can I get you? Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a beat. What are we waiting for? Okay, let's go. Get ready. Ghost of Tsushima On July 17th, Sucker Punch Productions will release one of the most anticipated titles of the year. Ghost of Tsushima The game takes place in Japan at the end of the 13th century. We'll get to play as Jin Sakai, a samurai who must renounce the laws of honor that have governed his life in order to face Mongol invaders and save Japan. We'll get to roam around the world, but don't go in expecting proper routes with fancy things like GPS and arrows. No, in order to reach our target, we'll have to follow nature. We are in the 13th century after all, folks. As for fighting, we'll get two options. Either go crazy and try to kill an entire army alone while making a shit ton of noise, or go ghost mode and kill them quietly. Honestly though, the hype for this one is so real. Oh, and if you have some spare time in between your adventures, you can pay respect to your ancestors or even play a marvelous flute while surrounded by beauty. Because why not? And as if this game couldn't get any cooler, at the beginning, you'll get the option to play in samurai mode, which is in black and white. It looks amazing and totally sets the mood. But wait, are we too late to ask for a mode that comes in blood red? Pretty please? On that note, don't forget to let the wind guide you. Wait, hang on. Are we Pocahontas now? I love this town. The city of endless opportunity. Cyberpunk 2077. CD Projekt Red's game has been delayed yet again. Oh, sorry. They've said it'll come out on November 19th, but we'll believe it when we see it. Let's be honest though, even if Cyberpunk 2077 was pushed back another six times, we'd still want to play it because it looks awesome. We desperately want to live in Night City to embrace the violence, the danger, and the six distinct regions. And of course, to play as a mercenary in first person. Born here, live here, die here. We also really want to see how in the hell you can finish the game without killing a single person. The developers swear it's possible, but really, what kind of mercenary lifestyle would that even be? Perhaps a socially distancing one? <laughs> and for all you pervs out there, there's good news. Apparently, Cyberpunk will be full of nudity, illicit drugs, and Hence, sexual relations. Oh, and not only will players be able to create characters with male bodies and female voices, and vice versa, Welcome to Liz they'll also get the chance to decide how their assassin's genitals will look. Yes, you heard that right. Their genitals. Oh man, we can already see the memes. The Night City. Night City is waiting for us starting November 19th. <laughs> Halo Infinite Master Chief is returning in Halo Infinite, the newest title in the franchise. Yes! Yes! 
The game's set to be released in time for the 2020 holidays, and we can't wait to see what happens. I hope you're ready. Halo 5 left us, the characters, and the story on a major cliffhanger. We don't have a lot of info about the game yet, but according to trailers, it seems like the story will be set on a Halo ring. More details about the game will be revealed at the Xbox 2020 event in July. And we can't wait. Marvel's Avengers Can you believe it's been over a year since we had an Avengers movie to get our blood pumping? And thanks to COVID-19, the closest one is still at least five months away. Whoa! This just got a whole lot more interesting. Luckily, there is some good news on the horizon, and that is Marvel's Avengers. Its release date is September 4th, and thanks to its original storyline, we think that it'll be able to tide us over until the next movie. The game was developed by Crystal Dynamics, and the gameplay looks pretty promising. Sure, it might not be as much of a masterpiece as the movies. Is that supposed to be a joke? But it'll definitely be a game that we can spend several hours playing. What the hell are you talking about? We're looking forward to helping Kamala Khan, aka Miss Marvel, fight the supervillain Modok. And it'll be fun playing as one of the OG Avengers, which include Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, and if you want to go hard, you can always try managing the Hulk. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. This is one game we've been looking forward to playing ever since it was presented at the PlayStation 5 reveal event. In the beginning, however, the game did generate some controversy, as many were left wondering if it was actually a sequel or just a DLC expansion for a PS5 enhanced port of the 2018 game. Thankfully, all of that's been cleared up, and we couldn't be happier. Brian Horton, the creative director of Insomniac Games, has confirmed that it's a standalone game. Yes, yes, and yes! It'll be a great way to test out the power of the PS5, as it'll have ray tracing, 3D audio, near instant loading times, and dual sense special features. Weird things have been going on. Plus, we've always wanted to spend Christmas in the Big Apple. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. When we watched the trailer for the first time, we actually thought it was a movie. The newest Assassin's Creed title will take place in the Age of Vikings, so expect a lot of brutality, blood, and explicitness. In the game, you'll control Ivar, a Viking raider who must lead their clan from the harsh shores of Norway to a new home amid the lush farmlands of 9th century England. This will be the first Assassin's Creed that will let you select your character's gender and customize them to your heart's content. Assassin's Creed Valhalla has all the right ingredients to be one of the best games of the year. It just needs a really good storyline, and we mean really good. They will understand. The bar has been set high. We're looking at you, The Last of Us Part 2. Maybe you should have. And now we expect, no, we demand great games with epic storylines. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will be available for the 2020 holidays on the Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PS5, PS4, Stadia, and PC. Sorry to all of you who only own a Switch. Elden Ring. I doubt you could even imagine it. Why hasn't George R.R. R. Martin finished writing The Winds of Winter yet? 
Well, Elden Ring could be the culprit. Hidetaka Miyazaki and Martin have teamed up to create the game. Seriously though, Dark Souls meets Game of Thrones? How amazing is this going to be? The game was announced over a year ago at E3 2019, but we still don't know too much about it. All we do know is that it'll be on a much larger scale than a Souls title. It'll be open world and it'll have different gameplay mechanics. Yes, 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 we know it's like we just told you nothing. But guys, this is the beautiful thing about gaming. There's secrets until the end. We also don't have a release date yet, but we desperately want it to come out sometime this year. And we're hoping that by putting it on this list, our dreams will come true. So these are the games that we really want to play this year as long as our wallets allow it. What about you? What games are you looking forward to playing the most? Let us know in the comments below, and see you next week. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! How risk, how reward. First rule of the afterlife. Cut team, baby.